welcome Sagittarians this is your love quickie for June 20 to 27 what is going on for you mm -hmm. coming into the ground oh, I got. <laughs> that is bizarre that's really bizarre when that happens the same two cards popped out in the same position for Leo's okay 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 so we've got we're in a place of the stone so I have a sense of grounding LX, LX, where is it? LX, here we go no, LX, the, the eternal, the anchor, the rock what's tethering us to, to love? We've got a beautiful abundant we've got a beautiful blissful home we've got oh my god the same two nines came out but in a different not together <laughs> we've got bliss and harmony an entrepreneurial father energy who's great in community hmm. okay so we've got some really solid loving grounded roots here and we've got um, a sense of truth and knowing. So there's a, uh, um, an archetype, the Son of Swords. So um, someone who's really hard, a bit hard to be around. They're two in their heads. And um, we got the Stamina card. So stay aligned. Sagittarians to your stamina and your truth and your knowing we want to weed out yeah the possession and the control that you're feeling because it's got to a toxic level you've got someone in your life who's toxic and they mask themselves as someone who's waspy and wispy and peace and love and mung beans well wow. yeah we need to step into the Empress we need to step into our deep place of knowing and compassion and just go this toxic behavior is ending this connection is causing me too much anguish and you feel lost so it's it feels very much so like um, you're in a what's really comfortable and looks like an amazing connection you've probably been together for years married maybe even with kids um, and yet it's become toxic it's become comfortable and you're seeking out you're seeking out desire you want you want that same desire that you had when you first met you want the kiss and you've got the lovers card popping in there Daughter of Swords, so it feels like some of you might be having a bit of an emotional affair and it needs to stop because it's um, it's it's drama and it's gonna it's a burden on your current marriage or connection for sure. Yes, double ten, oh my god. Burdens, blockages, drama, walk away. Yeah, so you're thinking of having an affair um, it's not looking like the one it's not looking like a good idea what we really need to do is come back to our temple come back to what holds us onto the earth you know why are we here and deal with our own greed and disappointment rather than projecting it onto our partner you know you need you need to own your stuff Sagittarius and you need to um, connect with the universe more so you can you know if it's through food that you get to your temple if it's going into a temple to find yourself do that if it's surfing do that if it's karaoke do that whatever it is that takes you up into the heavens up into the stars so you feel light and free and joyous again do that do that do that and now a card from the universe about this beautiful connection that you have how do we how do we reignite it how do new life 
how do we get to a place of new life? Let's just tune in. The relationship, new and new energy enters old relationships, and new relationships are bursting with sweetness and vibrancy. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and heart's joy. Yeah, so just tap into the newness. You know, have a chat with your partner. Get really real with them and just talk about your desires and see if you can heal because it, it really do have something magical. Um, so you need to let go of resentments. You need to let go of any betrayals or, you know, just in your mind, any patterns that you've created between you that don't fit this beautiful, loving home that you've built together. You know, there's always going to be that stuff, the burdens and blockage. Oh, that was with the, that was with the easy option. Um, yeah, but you did get the anguish and the anxiety. There's a lot of mental stuff going on here. So come, come into, you know, in yoga, there's Venus Kriyas where you're sitting in the same posture opposite each other and you're connecting through the heart and through the eyes of the soul. You talk authentically with a place of non-judgment so you can really see how the other person is feeling. Not thinking, feeling. So then you can help to move forwards. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarians, if you wish to join me for the solstice um, energy medicine visualization infusion with tarot, that will be happening around the solstice. And otherwise I'll see you again next week for your love quickie. And... Take care with this journey. Um, you may wish to seek out some therapy or if you want to work one on one. I love working with toxic relationships and it's not the relationship, it's the it's the patterning, it's the conditioning, it's the roles that we get stuck in playing. Um, to un, you know unravel those and to come back into happy together and harmony is the ultimate goal. Lots of love, take care, please reach out and I will see you soon.